pinapakita ko. Interesting facts about heaven. Alright, so I hope this will be very interesting and uh, very much educating din sa bawat isa. So my goal is that I want you to feel what it is like in heaven or going to heaven or basically what is heaven and things that you will need to know about heaven. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much Lord for this night. Having these people with me who will later on pray. But Lord, most importantly, I pray Panginoon that you bless them Lord with these wonderful things that I will be sharing to them. Mainly things about heaven. I pray dear God that you give us understanding about these things and may you be glorified and at the same time may we get excited dear god about what's in store for us especially in this wonderful place i pray this lord god in jesus name amen okay so heaven is such a wonderful place heaven po ay isang bagay na gusto lahat na marinig last time i talked about hell i know it's not such a pleasant place but this one is really a beautiful place to talk about but I have seven, seven interesting facts you would want to know about heaven. So without further ado, here we go. The Bible said, Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So there is a place, a literal place, that is called heaven. And God made it, made it himself. And you might probably ask, let's go to number one. <clears throat> heaven has an exact location. Yung, some, for some, ano, this might be a no-brainer, pero alam nyo ba, there is an exact location in heaven that God has given us in detail na ito po ay sinabi niya na nasa north. Okay? The Bible said for the promotion comet neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Notice, na mention ang east, na mention ang west, na mention ang south. Nasa ng north? Wala siya na-mention, ano? In verse 7, <clears throat> ni-replace ang God na word for the north. That tells us that God is on the northern part of this earth. Or if I may be more particular, it's in the northern part ng universe. Above the earth. Okay? Sabi pa ng Job 26 verse 7, He stretched out the north over the empty place and hang the earth about uh, upon nothing. So that tells you, walang nakahawak sa earth, walang atlas na, nag, na nakalagay sa likod niya. Yung earth, wala rin pong parang chain na nakatali para uh, mag-hold sa earth from above. It hangs from nothing. But above the earth, yung north nun, ito po ang location ng heaven. Now, here's something interesting. Alam niyo ba kung bakit talaga nakreate ang pyramid? There are a lot of... Um, uh, conspiracies o kaya mga stories about how pyramid was created. Sabi nila, no, parang uh, may advanced technology lang daw po noon, pero still, ang akala natin, tayo na may pinaka-advanced technology throughout history. Hindi nila ma-explain paano nabuhat yung malalaking bricks, paano nakat ng sobrang pantay yung bricks na yon para mag-create ng pyramid. And alam nyo po sa Bible, na-reveal ito, somehow na-reveal po ito, that it was actually the sons of God or yung mga angels ang sinasabi na nag-create nito. Now, I will not be in detail dito, but I'll just give you the idea. Ang, uni ang, ang pyramid, ginawa po ng mga sons of God or yung mga giants na tinatawag po nung Genesis chapter 6 nung panahon po ni Noah or panahon after din doon, kaya po ang pyramid sa ina-create. Now, why did they create that? They created that because they want to mimic o kaya gayahin yung itsura ng universe kung saan sila dun unang nanggaling. So if you will realize and read Genesis chapter 6, yung giants, hindi po sila nakreate na parang giant na lang na sumulpot. There is a mingling of the sons of God, o mga fallen angels, between the daughters of men, which is yung mga kababaiyan ng mga, mga humans. At doon nakapag-produce sila ng giants. Isa doon si Goliath na kinagaban po ni David. Now, one more thing na interesting dito. Ang pyramid po, it is mentioned in the Bible na ito ang itsura ng universe. Sa Ephesians chapter 3 verse 18 to 19 sabi, may 
may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height. Now, this is a deep uh, no, no, teaching, pa, pero I'll just give you the idea. <clears throat> Sabi ng Bible, breadth, length, depth, and height. It gave you dimensions. At itong dimensions na to ay tinutukoy po ang universe at minsan may binanggit pang si Jesus Christ ang head of the corner or cornerstone. Ang pyramid po ang may length, width, height, at saka breadth. And sinabi pa na si Jesus Christ ang cornerstone. So, yung corner or topmost stone ng pyramid, which is ito, nandun daw ang dwelling place or ang heaven, which is si Jesus Christ, is nakaupo na ngayon. Right? So, I won't get into details to that. Maybe we can do that in some other study. But here's another interesting thing about heaven. Someone actually went to heaven and went back to earth. Yes, human po. Umakit sa langit at bumaba sa earth. Alam nyo sino yan? Siya po si none other than Apostle Paul. There was a time sa 2 Corinthians kinwento niya to. Sabi niya, it is not expedient for me, doubtless to glory. I will come to the visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man, may nakita siyang vision. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. Whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knows, hindi niya alam kung nasa katawan o wala sa katawan. Okay? Such an one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. Actually, nakita niya dito is siya mismo, no? How that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words which is not lawful for a man to utter. Hindi niya, mabang, hindi niya mabanggit, hindi niya masabi anong meron doon. Perhaps dahil sa sobrang ganda nito, wala siyang masabi. Parang na ano siya, ano? speechless. Yan yung sinasabi natin. Of such an one with, will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory but in my infirmities. So there was a time na si, si Paul, it seems na siya ay biglang kumakit ng langit. And there is this um, possibility or great possibility na nangyari po ito nung Acts chapter 14. Nung Acts chapter 14 kasi, in stone to death si Paul. Okay? At ito yung nangyari sa kanya. There came to their certain Jews from Antioch and Iconium who persuaded the people and having stoned Paul and drew him out of the city supposing he had been dead. So para palang parang patay po siya ng time. Isipin natin na himatay siya or parang humiwalay na nga yung kaluluwa niya. So that is why that was the, the, the time na nagkaroon siya nung vision na to na sinasabi niya na sa 2 Corinthians. At yun na nga Nakita niya ang sarili niya, umakyat sa third heaven, at doon nakita po niya ang langit. Kaya pala, no, mapapansin niyo po, pag binabasa niyo mga epistles ni Paul, you will realize that he always, oh, if there's one thing that he wanted, he wanted to die. He's not afraid to die. He's not afraid to leave this earth. Bakit? Kasi siguro nakita na niya yung langit. At sa sobrang ganda ng langit, actually, ikaw, umapunta ka doon, hindi mo isipin na bumalik pa dito sa earth. Sana doon ka na lang, ano? And just like Paul, ganun po siya. Kaya mapapansin nyo even in Acts 21 verse 13, sabi niya dyan, What meaning to weep and break my heart? For I'm not ready not only to be bound, but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. There's a reason behind that. Not only because he's, he's really dedicated, he knows Jesus so much. And one of the things that I believe, narasun niyan, because he knows how heaven looks like and what heaven is. Kaya nga nasulat ang Hebrews din, doon pinakita ang better things. Ang tema ng book of Hebrews, if you will read that, binabanggit yan better things, dyan nabanggit yung better hope, better testament, which is the New Testament, better covenant, and most importantly, the better country. Yung country na yun ay hindi dito, hindi dito sa lupa. Alright, so third thing, there are actually three heavens. O kanina may clue ka na, no? Sinabi ni Paul, I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago whether in the body, I cannot tell whether out of the body, I cannot tell. So, hindi niya alam kung nakita niya is soul, hindi niya alam kung body. So, that tells you also that the soul has the shape of the body. Kasi hindi niya ma-distinguish kung nasa katawan ba o nasa spirit lang or soul. Such an one caught up into the third heaven. Doon siya napunta, sa third heaven. Now, if there's a third heaven, by common sense lang, no? There should be first and second heaven. Diba? So that tells us that there are three heavens na nabanggit sa Bible. So ang first heaven, actually, yan po yung atmosphere. Sabi ng Job 35 verse 5, 
Look unto the heavens and see. Behold the clouds, which are higher than thou. Sa Job 35 verse 5. That's the first heaven kung saan nakikita mo mga ibon. Where you see the sky, where you see the blue sky. Basically, the atmosphere. Now, what about the second heaven? The second heaven is actually yung, uh, yung eto, constellation. Kung nasan yung stars, kung nasan yung mga planets, nasan po ang sun, and so on. God said, let there be lights. Yung mga lights na yan, mga stars yan. In the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for season for days and years. Diba? Na may measure din natin yung seasons and days through the sun, which is a star also. And these are yung stars na may measure natin yun. Kung saan nakaplace yung mga stars. And God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day, which is the sun. And the lesser light to rule the night, which is the moon. He made the stars also. Right? And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Now, later, explain ko tong firmament na to in the midst of the waters. <clears throat> Why? Because notice this. The firmament divide the waters from the waters. May waters down na divide from the firmament. Which merong waters above the earth and merong waters below the earth or in the earth. Ito yan, no? And divided the waters which were under the firmament, under the firmament, and from the waters which are above the firmament. Ano kaya yan, ano? Ano kaya yung tinutukoy dito? Before I proceed there, Another clue, what is the third heaven? That is basically the throne of God. Doon na punta si Paul. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him in all His angels. Notice yung word na bangit dito, heights. Kanina, di ba, yung height, length, breadth. Yung parang shape ng pyramid. Nasa dulo. Nasa dulo po yung heaven. Nasa top, sa north. All His angels, praise Him. All His hosts, praise Him. Sun and moon, praise Him. All stars of the light or of light. Praise Him, ye heavens of heavens, I think heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Another clue that can give you this type of structure is yung tabernacle. If you will read the Bible in the Old Testament, mayroong tabernacle. May isang space doon, may place kung saan pinapatay yung, yung sheep, may place kung saan pumapasok yung mga priest to um, give yung may parang insenso, at mayroong place na tinatawag na holies of holies yung Ark of the Covenant kung nasan po siya naka-place. Naka Alright? That was described as parang etong universe. Kung saan nandun din ang third heaven. Alright? So, yan po yung three heavens. First heaven, second heaven, and third heaven. Now, dito na tayo sa sinasabi ko kaninang firmament. Sabi ng Bible in Genesis 1, 7 to 8, God made the firmament. Ano yung firmament? Yan yon yung first and second heaven chain firmament na tinatawag and divided the waters which were under the firmament ano yung under the firmament na water yung nasa earth yung sea na nakikita natin dito sa earth ang interesting dito is that there is water above the firmament may water daw above the firmament what may water between the second heaven and the third heaven meron po and it was so god called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day. May water dito? So, ganito pala itsura ng universe. Ito ang earth. First heaven, kita mo, himpapawid. And then, papasok ka sa may constellation o kaya yung solar system. And then, bago ka pala pumunta sa third heaven, may water na naman. At hindi lang yan. Na-describe pa yan sa Revelation na parang sea of glass. That's the wording. See siya na parang glass. So kung nakakita, nakakita na sa Antarctica o napunta ka sa Antarctica o nakita mo yung place na yun, o kahit na lang yung mga tumigas na yelo, sobrang lamig kasi dito eh, di ba? Pag pumunta ka sa space, you know it and you can see it in movies, malamig dyan. Below zero yung temperature. So definitely, kung may water dyan, titigas siya. So ito, napakatigas po niyan na water at meron dyang sea of glass na parang crystal daw. But still, it is water. Interesting po. And uh, na-drawing po siya ng isang scholar din in the Bible named Clarence Larkins, ano? And this is more of a detailed um, illustration of uh, heaven. I won't go into detail dito. Pero ang gusto ko makita niyo lang dito, ito ang heaven. Okay? Ang tao, pag namatay siya, punta siya sa heaven. Yung mga saved. And may, yung paradise dati, if you, if you are able to be with us nung study ng hell sa paradise, nandito siya dati. 
beside L, but now it's now up in the third heaven. Alright? So let's not go into details to that. Let's proceed with the next one. Ano yung mga creatures na makikita nyo po sa heaven? Alright? Alam nyo ba, akala lang natin angels na makikita natin sa heaven. Akala natin makikita lang natin doon ay mga souls. You know, there are other creatures that you will see in heaven. And these are one of them. The cherubims. Ang cherubims po, hindi po sila yung angels. Hindi rin sila yung mga baby na akala ng ibang tao. Ang cherubims po, ang itsura nila ha, merong may ulo ng eagle, may ulo ng leon, may ulo ng tao at may ulo ng goat. Ezekiel 1, chapter 1, makikita mo yung description ng mga cherubims doon. And I looked and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great, oh, north na naman yung nabanggit yan, di ba? From heaven yan. A great cloud and a fire enfolding itself and brightness was about it and, about, and out of the midst thereof. It's a color of, of amber, out of the midst of the fire, may apoy pa sila, no? Also out of the midst thereof came the, li the likeness of four living creatures and this was their appearance they had the likeness of man and hindi ko na nabasa iba pa dyan. may likeness ng eagle may likeness ng lion at may likeness po ng, ng goat anong katawan nila? ang katawan po nila ganitong itsura may pakpak po sila yes, sila yung may pakpak at napakarami po nilang pakpak meron din silang paa pero ang paa nila parang paa ng leon Scary ba? <laughs> yung may nakikita nyo sa mga games ngayon, di ba? Well, those are just taken from the Bible. Yung mga itsurang ganyan, no? And nasan sila? Nandun sila mismo sa throne ni God. Nandun sila day and night. They just worship God. They, just prob they probably sing songs. They and sila ang actually more powerful than angels. Yes, these creatures are more powerful than angels. Sabi ng Revelation chapter 4, nandun sila sa trono ng Diyos, naka-up sa sea of glass, <coughs> na parang kristal, okay? Yung, yung mga, <coughs> excuse me, marami silang mata, before and behind. And, yun nga po, meron silang apat na parang ulo na magkakaiba. They are actually beautiful. If you will, if you will have the chance to see them, they are very beautiful. Okay? Kaya nga po sila ay creation din ng Diyos. Now, dito na tayo sa susunod, which is very obvious sa lahat. Pero one thing na hindi nila uh, probably or na mis misconception sa mga angels is that akala nilang angels may pakpak. Ang angels po ay walang pakpak. Yes po, you will not see in the Bible that angels have wings. Those that have wings are cherubs, yung mga cherubim. And angels are males. Wala rin pong nabanggit na male or female na angel. Wala po sa Bible na nabanggit na ganun. Kaya nga nung Bumisita po yung tatlong lalaki kay Abraham bago nila sunugin yung Sodom and Gomorrah. Ang tatlo pong yun ay puro lalaki na banggit po. At yung isa doon actually nasa gitna is si Jesus Christ. Okay? Since may New Testament na, na-reveal na po yun. Kaya nga na worship ni Abraham yung nasa gitna nun. The point is, angels are men, grown men, around 33 years old. At sila po ay matipuno, malalakas, warriors, Pogi. <laughs> Mga pogi po sila. Pero wala po silang pakpak. What else can you see in heaven? You can see souls, obviously. The souls that are there that has been saved. And yun nga po, kasama nilang Panginoon, waiting for the day of um, yung pagbabalik ng Panginoong Isus. And they are there, watching, watching over us. Nakikita tayo sigurado. And knowing the things more than that we know right now. The question is, if I want to travel going to heaven, the fifth thing, how long is it travel? How long is it to travel to heaven? Now I did some research, ano? Meron palang tinatawag na New Horizons. Ito yung spacecraft na pinakamabilis na naimbento. I don't know kung meron pang mas mabilis na ngayon, ano? But it was launched in 2006. Pangalan po is New Horizons, the fastest spacecraft to ever leave Earth. Ano nangyari? Nag-travel siya papuntang um, uh, Jupiter. If I'm not mistaken, or Saturn, napunta siya Jupiter, and then it took him, it took it uh, around four years yata. But one thing is that it took them 9.5 years bago niya na-reach yung Pluto. And ang speed po niya ay nasa 43,000 kilometers per hour. Ang bilis po niyan. At alam niyo ba, may radio signals para malaman ko nung pictures na nakikita doon sa mga nakikita nilang discovery. It will take about 4.5 hours to travel in the speed of light. 
between Pluto and Earth. So I'm just referring here, ang travel mo, if you will travel in the speed of light, it will take you 4.5 hours. But we are talking about going to heaven. How, fa how fast or how long will you take para mag-travel papuntang langit? And layo-layo po ng langit, no? Kung Pluto lang, 4.5 hours, eh, ng thousands and thousands and probably millions of miles ang layo po niya. I don't know. But you know what? There's a person who traveled faster than a speed of light. And it just took him hours or, or days para bumalik po sa earth. Si Jesus Christ, nung siya po ay nag-resurrect, sabi po ng Bible, nung John 20 verse 17, Jesus said unto her, Touch me not. Siya nang galing yung Noli Metangre. Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father. Bago siya umakit ng langit, after niya mag-resurrect, three days, Sabi nga niya kay Mary, wag mo, wag mo muna ako hawakan. There's a reason behind that, actually. And the reason behind that is that he's very pure. He doesn't want and he doesn't want to be defiled. Kasi tayo, di ba, our hands, and mainly tayo, we are dirty, we are sinners. So, he was very clean here, and he needs to be glorified at pumunta sa langit para ma-fulfill yung prophecy. Okay? Now, the point here is that he ascended up to heaven. Sabi ng John 3.13, No man ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven. Siya po yung Son of Man, si Jesus Christ. Umakyat siya, and few hours later, bumaba siya, and notice nyo, ayaw niya magpahawak dito, di ba? Pero nung nandun na siya sa room, kasama si Thomas, unbelieving Thomas, sabi niya, Thomas, hawakan mo yung kamay ko para mapatunayan mo na ako to. May butas yung kamay niya, may butas rin yung kanyang tagilitan. Sorry, dito pala yung butas. So, yun po si Jesus Christ. He went that fast. He traveled that fast. And pwede pala yun. Some may think that parang siguro nag-teleport siya, no? Bumalik dito. I don't know. It could be. But the point is, you can travel that fast. Ang tanong, can I travel that fast? Can you travel that fast going to heaven? Yes, you can. And that's the sixth thing I want you to know. By the way, bago ka mag-travel sa heaven, let's just do this theoretically. If you will travel to heaven, what you need to do is, from the earth, kailangan mo ng space shuttle, obviously, para lumabas ka sa earth's atmosphere. Now, once you go out the earth's atmosphere, kailangan mo syempre ng toneto leladang gas <laughs> para po makaabot ka dun sa heaven. So, hindi ko alam pa paano gagawin yun, pero just in theory, para makalagpas ka dito sa second heaven, sa layo at laki ng universe. Now, once na umabot ka dito sa waters na tinutukoy po, Sa waters above the firmament, kailangan mo na submarine. Ba? At hindi lang submarine kailangan mo. Di ba nga? Para siyang sea of glass. So kung kailangan mo ng parang sea of glass, kailangan mo ng drill para umabot dito. <laughs> That's what you need. That's what you need to travel to heaven. And unfortunately, pag nakalagpas ka na dito sa waters of, uh, above the firmament, nandito ka na sa trono ng Diyos, alam mo mangyari sa'yo, matutunaw ka. Tapos sabi ng Bible, no man had seen God, or siya mismo literally dahil pag nangyari yun, His glory will shine upon you and sobrang, sobrang lakas at powerful ng glory niya, ang tao matutunaw, mamamatay. <coughs> dahil po tayo ay makasalanan <coughs> at hindi natin magagawang humarap physically sa Diyos. <coughs> so, what do you need? May solusyon po doon. <coughs> natin to po ang solusyon. Sabi ng Bible, there are also celestial bodies. Meron pang langit na katawan. The bodies of terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of terrestrial is another. Terrestrial is yung pang, pang langit. Alam nyo ba, someday, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, where the trumpet shall sound, the dead in Christ, or the dead shall rise, or shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Ang katawan mo daw ay mababago. At yung katawang ito ay hindi yung katawang meron tayo ngayon na nakokorap, namamatay. Okay? This corruptible must be put into incorruption. At yung katawan, da katawan daw na yun, na mortal, ay magiging immortal. Kailan mangyayari yun? That will happen in the day of rapture. <coughs> so when that day comes, I hope that we will be part of that rapture. And there's only one way to be part of that rapture. And it is only the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus spoke of himself as the only way to heaven, di ba? John 14, 6. 
He presented himself as the object of faith, Matthew 7. He said in his words to share him life. John 14, 6, John 6, 63. He promised that those who will believe in him will have eternal life. He believed that he can save you. Is he enough for you to get saved? John 3, my command. He is the gate of the sheep, Shai door. John 10, 7. The bread of life and the resurrection. No one else has rightly claimed those titles. Only Jesus Christ. And last but not the least, I want to show you and describe what heaven is. Ito po ang heaven. Ang heaven po ay napakagandang lugar that sabi pa nga ng Bible, no amount of words can, can actually describe this. Sa sobrang ganda po nito, ito po, no? isa-isayin ko lang, by verse by verse, but if you will have the time, I hope you will read, <coughs> read Revelation 20, chapter 21, and chapter 22. Makikita nyo po doon, ang napakagandang description ng heaven. Here are some. Feel the heaven, the feel of heaven. <coughs> And alam nyo, si John the Beloved ang isa sa mga nakakita nun. Si John the Beloved ang nagsulat ng Book of Revelation, nakita niyo yung vision na yan, at ito ang sabi niya. So beautiful. Revelation 21, verse 2 at verse 10. It's very majestic. You will be with God. Literally, kasama mong Diyos. Verse 3 and 6. Wala nang tears sa heaven. Wala nang death. Wala nang sorrow or pain. Wala na pong sinners doon. Wala nang papasok na magnanakaw, mamamatay tao, or anything evil na pwedeng lumapit sa'yo. Verse 8 and 27. The place is full of precious stones. Wow! Nakita na ba ng lugar na napakagandang puro precious stones like carbuncle, onyx, no? sapphire, uh, emerald, yung mga ganon. Napangkit po yan lahat. Parang kristal. There are 12 gates. If you can imagine what I'm trying to say. No? At may walls daw doon na may mga bantay na angels. Wow, grabe, no? It won't be shut. Hindi po masasara yung pinto. Hindi mo na kailangan isaraya kasi hindi naman po uh, papasukin niya ng kahit anong evil. Wala na rin pong church doon. Wala na rin pong temple. Kasi nga po, nandun na mismo ang Panginoong Isus. You don't need light doon. Wala na pong liwanag at wala rin gabi. Kahit si ang Panginoon mismo, ang siya pong liwanag at siya po ay lagi pong lumiliwanag. This will be visited by nations. Ang lahat po ng nations pupunta po doon from all parts of the earth to worship the Lord God. And furthermore, sa Revelation 22, makikita nyo doon, there's a river clear as crystal. Nakita na po kayo dito, river sa atin, ano, hindi mo makikita crystal clear kasi po, parang puro ano, basura. Eh. <laughs> Pero if you ever seen a, a river that is crystal clear na nakikita mo hanggang ilalim, wow. You can only see that probably in heaven. There is a tree of life na nandun po sa verse 2. <clears throat> Wala na pong curse doon. Everyone is serving God. And you will see God face to face. Again, there's no night. Wala na pong candle. Hindi mo na kailangan ng kuryente. Wala na trabaho ng meral ko po doon. Okay? God will reign forever and ever. And mga bro and sis, um, you will find out that all of these things will come to pass, especially pag nakita mo na yung lugar na yun, you will just be amazed. Your jaw will, will probably drop and you cannot explain what you will see in this wonderful and beautiful place. And the good thing is, Jesus Christ promised this very wonderful promise. He testified the last prayer of the Bible is this. Even so, Come, Lord Jesus. At ang pinangako po niya, surely, <laughs> hindi lang niya sinabing, I shall return. Nagginawa naman talaga ni Douglas MacArthur, di ba? But ito mismo ay galing sa words or salita ni Jesus Christ. I come quickly.